I think one of the things that, that we have to, to look at, though, is although we see in media uh, a lot of the negativities associated with the lockdown, uh, we don't talk very much about the extraordinary uh, achievements uh, associated with it. You know, there were, before it started, there were people saying that it was impossible to lock down a city this size, that it was impossible to get the cases under control uh, with Omicron. And uh, we know that uh, that, uh, that hasn't been the case, that we have seen uh, three days of declines overall and uh, some expectations that we might uh, have um, uh, stopped community spread uh, within the next week. If we look at the past two or three years, uh, what other major country has outperformed China in terms of controlling this thing? And what other country has contributed more to the global uh, supply chain than China, right? I mean, it was China's quick recovery that has been uh, supplying much of the world's supply chain over the past couple of years. And I, I think there's this you know, perception that all of a sudden uh, Chinese officials became stupid or uh, incapable in terms of uh, the policies that we have now with Omicron. And I, I just can't understand how we reconcile um, these two different uh, uh, perspectives. The, the government will put people over profits, but they, they do want to maintain and support the economy. So yeah. it's going to be a push-pull.